Good evening, good evening, everyone. Let's make a quick sound test. Uh, Travis, let me know if you have sound. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Hear you just fine. Okay, we are great. So Travis will be attending with me tonight. For those who don't know Travis, Travis has been a trader for what? 10 years now, something like that? How long have you Yeah, been? 2014 is when I started trading, so 10 years now. Okay, 10 years, started with us in options and everything and went into the prop firms. And as a matter of fact, the long story short, he is the one who pushed me to get back into the prop firms. <laughs> so it's the loop that is closing. So hopefully everybody's doing well. It's good to see everybody. Let's make sure we have a, a sound check with everybody in the room. Robert, it's good to see you. Andre, one of my best futures trader for many years in the room. Benito, up and coming, making money consistently every day in our room, in uh, the room. Also, big day today, we have Braden. Uh, he will be on the mic later on, who just passed after seven weeks, starting with us. He was also a previous day trading zone uh, trader years ago, came back in the future side, and in seven weeks, he passed his first uh, prop firm uh, account. He is good and qualified for a funded account as of yesterday night with one of the prop firms that we use. Okay, so again, uh, there's substantial uh, uh, risk in trading. You know, I don't want to minimize that. This is a real um, disclosure and disclaimer here. You know, don't trade more than you can afford to lose. But I'm going to show you tonight probably the best business that you can do for yourself and your family with the least amount of risk by using other capital, using 0% financing to finance your training, your evaluation fees, and make this business almost zero down payment business completely financed by creative approach that I will share with you that a lot of our guys are doing and they are doing successfully. Um, now, I want to uh, quickly reiterate who I am for some of you that may not know, which is not really the most interesting part. I have been at this for 30 years. Uh, trading and investing is pretty much all I have done in my life since I was 22, I'm 53. I analyze, trade, and invest in the markets almost daily, you know, unless I'm in vacation or uh, I have commitments uh, for other businesses. I started as a prop firm trader as well in the days at Andover Trading. Uh, then I moved to a small hedge fund called JP Capital, which the former owner was John Pitak. I was in Fort Lauderdale. They had branches in New York and Fort Lauderdale. I was in the Fort Lauderdale branch. I have been a discretionary trader and done automated uh, and automations uh, for most of my life uh, with the day trading zones. And now for the past two years, the power indicators, which is unique and patented. It took us uh, three years to get the patent. So that has been uh, a pretty cool. Um, that has been a journey to, let us, to, <laughs> to say the least in terms of patent, copyright, and trademark. Now, we trade $750,000 of funded account across four firms. I use four firms, so I am not in love and attached with any prop trading firms. I am with the ones that pay. If you pay, if I pass, I expect to be paid, and I don't expect to do videos, and I don't expect to jump hoops to get paid. That's number one. Number two, um, in 2021, after <laughs> over 20 years of banging my uh, head uh, doing options, I did the biggest year of my life trading the SPY 0DT. This is what I'm known for. I did $675,000 profit that year in 2021. There were some videos, there were some stuff. Um, paid a fair amount of taxes on that. Uh, but I in, reinvested a lot of the money into the power indicator project and uh, the uh, coding, the development of the project, okay? 
uh, I manage 250,000, a quarter million dollar in retirement accounts that I show publicly almost every month to everybody, you know, using the same probability power indicator, whether I day trade, whether I use crypto, or whether I do uh, long-term investing, same, same idea. This is my uh, little family. So, you know, we are real people. And by the way, I didn't uh, notice, but the camera is on, not on. So <laughs> I'll uh, put the camera, not that uh, this is the most exciting pretty part of my face there. Uh, this is this is our little family here. So this is my three boys. I have one boy that is not showing in the picture and our girl. So total of uh, five kids, blended family. And uh, tonight I want to go over really this unique opportunity for you guys. You know, this is things have changed. Uh, this life is a little gestapo on my face. Let's go like this. So I want to share with Travis and uh, Brayden when he comes in the mic, this incredible opportunity, guys. You know, years ago, let me explain to you what happened. So when I started in prop films, when I started my career, I don't know for those who don't know the little story, I came from France, not on a boat, but I came from France, not with a lot of money, right? As a young uh, person, I was in my early 20s, I didn't have a lot of money, right? So I started in prop films because I always wanted, I was a product manager uh, in Latin America, and then I moved to the prop films. And at the day, at the time, the prop films worked as follows. It was a 50-50 split. So now the old days. So that you see the unique opportunity of an incredible business that presents itself in front of you. So in the old days, I had a 50-50% split. I had to pass a series 7, 55, and 63 to trade stocks because I was working in the prop firms that was trading stocks and over trading, very similar uh, trading style as I, if you have been in the game for a long, long time as a company called Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld and Andover were the biggest prop firm at the time. So I started there. I was probably one of the last source bandit and it took me about three months to get my licenses it took another three months to be at 100 shares on the sim to prove myself to the firm. And after six months for about four to almost five years, I worked at that firm. And this is how I started accumulating the funds that I have accumulated over the years that you've seen trading options, trading stocks, trading cryptos, trading whatever that, that came from the prop world. So I'm a big, big believer in the prop world because this is how I started accumulated a capital for myself, trading my own money, right? Then uh, 2001 happened, a lot of prop firms closed. I had enough capital and I moved on. Now, fast forward now for you guys and everybody in this room, that is including me, that's including Travis, that's including Braden, who will come on the mic, who just passed his uh, first uh, prop funded account. He's starting his funded account tomorrow, or I think it's tomorrow or today, I don't know. He was there this morning. We'll tell you, or we'll put him on the mic. So now, fast forward. The split is 90% of the profit you keep for yourself, 10% you pay for the firm. Some people have an 80, 10, uh, 80, 20, that's fine. It's still very generous compared to the day that I was. No series seven, no series 55, no series 63, because I do futures. I don't need any, any of that crap. We don't need that, okay? Now, you can pass as fast as two days in some prop firms to seven days. Okay, now realistic expectations, and we'll talk with Travis, is if you really want a skill that is going to give you $200 a day 
to $7,000, $10,000 a day. It's possible even to do $20,000 in some days. If you want this skill, this income skill, and be serious about this income skill, you got to give yourself four to six months. It's not going to happen in three weeks. I have a miracle here that is going to talk to you. Braden did it in seven weeks. But most people, to be realistic, you have to understand, you'll go through the evaluation challenges of the prod firm. You'll blow them up. You'll pass them. You'll blow the funded accounts. You'll, you'll get payouts and you'll blow your funded accounts or your live accounts and you'll start the loop again and again and again until things get more consistent, more consistent, less crazy day, less more smooth, right? Payout that you get every week, okay? Because at the end of the day, I am not here for evaluation. I'm here for payout. We are here to make money, right? But you got to start at step one. It's going to be the evaluations. So now let me show you why this is a huge opportunity for everybody. Into everybody. I don't care if you're a millionaire. I don't care if you, even more so, if you have only less than $5,000 in your entire life sitting at the bank or in your entire network. So tonight we are going to talk about the problem opportunity. The automation with TradingView, TradeOvay. We are going to talk about size, discipline, the, the way that if you have a job, it still works because the market, the futures market is open 23 hours out of 24 hours, right? Remember, this is not a video game. We are all business and entrepreneurs here. I am not considering myself as a day trader. I consider myself as a professional entrepreneur in the trading business. I want to get paid. I want to use other capital, right? And reinject that capital into asset building my tax-free, my tax-deferred retirement accounts or investments in real estate, in self-storage and other businesses that I am partner in. And I also buy and sell businesses, okay? So I want you to be very, very cognizant on how we are going to simplify the game. Now, is this real? Yes, it's very real. This is my October in one of my prop firm account where I made $6,459. It happens that that prop firm, you could have five accounts. If I had copied this on five accounts, that would be a $30,000 month. That would be a $360,000 year. So you can see here that let me see, you can see all the, the wins, see eight trades, 700 bucks. Uh, here, one trade, lost 80 bucks, $88. Here, one trade, $200. And then week one, 182. Then, boom, $4,000 in one day, three trades. Then we go back, lost 321 and 1600. Now, Going to give you a great rule, whether you join us or not next week for the dual final bootcamp 2024, which by the way, it's going to be over seven days. It's going to be all about prop firms, first and foremost, but we'll do also the options, the zero DT, which I am very, very, very much an expert on the zero DT SPY options, puts, okay, puts. I do calls, but I prefer puts, and I'll explain that during the bootcamp. Okay, now, whether you join us or not, listen to this very, very important rule. Okay, guys? Do not lose in a day more than what you can make in a day. I repeat this rule. If you want to sustain your own trading account with your own money or trading with the prop firm's money, which now they have your average win, your average loss, your numbers of trade, the journal, the weekly profit, the daily profit, everything is tracked. Hallelujah, like professionals. Okay? If you want to sustain this game, do not lose in a day more than you can make in a day. So look here, week one. Week one was a little crappy for me. What? $182, but look what I lose. I lose 
eighty-eight dollars, six hundred and forty-five dollars on Monday. But look, my winner, seven hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. So this winner is superior to this loss, and this winner is superior to this loss. Do not lose in a day more than you can make in a day. Look here, another tidbit that can help you pass and be successful at the start. You don't need to trade every day. If the setup is not there, if you need to go on vacation, you don't need to trade every day. You, you, the beauty for me to have four prop firms, I have four prop firms, guys. And within those four prop firms, I have 16 accounts, 16 accounts that are funded. Do you think I have the urge? I have no urge. I go to one, it works. Then I go to the other one, works. I go to the third one, I blow up, boom. I have another 15 account. And it's all like credit cards. It's stacking the firms, the numbers of accounts, and the ones you can copy or not. And by the way, I'll give you another tidbit if you stay towards the end that will blow your mind in terms of being successful at this game. So, how prop firm works? Just curious, uh, guys, give me a no, a no, if you don't fully understand how prop firm works, a no. Put no in the chat, please. No, not yes, but no. If anybody in the chat put a no, if you fully do not understand how trading firms understand, and they, by the way, it's fine. We are here to explain to you the opportunity. Put a no. Robert, Dirkis, Richard, put a no. Just curious. Okay. Daryl. Yeah, Daryl, it's good to see you. Happy good morning from Australia, Daryl. Mark, no. Okay. So, and uh, Travis, feel free to jump in. Okay. So, the usual route of a day trader is this. Day trader starts with $25,000 to $50,000 day trading capital to avoid the pattern day trading rule, right? And then some people trade in cash accounts, just options, the SPY, because they are cheap, zero DTE. And that you can do probably between $1,000 to $10,000 capital. Most traders come and use their own capital. And that's the kiss of death because if you use your own capital and 90% of the trader lose money consistently, it is not if, but when you are going to blow up that money. Which by the way, that money is your money. So if I had stick and I can talk to for myself and 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 um, Travis will will talk for his experience as well. If I had stick to only prop trading since two thousand and one, which I did not, I stopped prop firm trading in two thousand and one. Started in ninety ninety four ninety ninety. Where is it? It's in my bio there, right? Somewhere ninety four. See, started in ninety four. Right? So if I had stuck to only prop firm money, which is not my money, like a professional, right? I would have saved probably $200,000 of losses. Don't forget, I have a 31 years of trading career. So $200,000 of losses in 30 years, right? That $200,000, would have I invested that $200,000 in my long-term play using our probability power indicator, plays like this, right? Where we put the quarter million dollars in long-term plays in AMD, Google, Amazon, Apple, Coinbase, whatever, Meta, that $200,000 most likely would be $1.5 million right now. I mean, this is a fact, it's $1.5 million. So instead of using your money 
and blowing up trying to figure it out in something that is going to take you at least six months to two years. You now have the best alternative, guys. So what is it? It's the prop funded world. And let me show you. In the old days, I would come on my future account and I would put $50,000. I would trade 10 MQs. This thing would drop 50 points on me. And in a matter of seconds, I would have lost $5,000. Right? Boom. Right? And then I would do it again and again and again. And eventually, I count down at 25K. I would stop, bring this to stock and options. And I would hit the 25K. I would wait another three months, six months of simulator trading, practice, practice, and get back. You don't have to do none of this risk anymore. We have a path for you guys to have everything or almost everything paid for you where literally, literally, realistically, within four to six months minimum to a period of a year, you can be a professional trader racking $200 to $7,000 a day across firms and accounts, like literally. And Braden will come on the mic and he'll share his journey quickly. And he did it in six, seven weeks with us. So look, now here's what you can do instead. You can pay $49, get a $50,000 buying power account. And if you pass the challenge, the requirements of the prop firms, and by the way, there is prop firms and there's prop firms. There's crappy prop firms that are scams. There's firms that don't pay. There's firms that will always trip you to not pay you. So you got to know the right firms and the wrong firms. And by the way, this is always a moving target. The firm that you thought was up and up last week could be a scam next week. So this is why I like to start different firms and different accounts. So with $49, if I reach a profit of $3,000, meaning that I bring my account from 50 to $53,000, I pass the evaluation to go from evaluation to a funded account. And from the funded account, if you do it again above the $3,000 buffer above zero, you can take payouts, right? I just simplified there's all the rules like the consistency rules. There's also the uh, five day rules for some, some trading firms, right? But in a nutshell, you have a target, $3,000, and you have a maximum loss. You reach that maximum loss, you, you could lose that in a day, boom. Your account stopped, and you will have to wait 30 days until the next rebuild if you blow up your account in one day. But in a nutshell, that's what it is, and they give you five contract, NQ, ES, whatever, gold, uh, crude. I don't trade any of that besides NQ. Uh, that's what I do. I do NQ and sometimes I do ES, MES, and MNQ, the micro. So this is five contract of 15 micros. So that's it. You have a target on this 50K account for 49 bucks, $3,000, a max loss of $2,000, and that's it. If you reach the $3,000, you're on a funded account, you go above your buffer, you can start taking payout if you are consistent after five days. That's kind of the rule. They have consistency rule of 50% depending on the, for the, the prop firm here, top step, which means that you cannot have one day being more than 50% of the total profit of the 3,000. So you cannot do more than 1,500. If you do $1,500 profit day one, day two, boom, you pass. Now, Remember, it's not about passing in two days, in five days. It is about passing. It's about having a replicable, consistent, systematic process to pass. Because there's tips and tricks to pass. Okay, uh, Travis, do you want to add a little bit on the process? To yeah, 
studies, understand a little bit better the process quickly, and then we'll uh, go into some of the key concepts. We'll put Brighton. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. So I, I was just going to jump in here because I, I just wanted to point out, you know, the, the overall point here of using funded. So Mark mentioned earlier, um, I have become a huge proponent of using prop firms and never trading your own money, whether it's day trading, whether it's swing trading, futures, options, no matter what it is. I, I just, I, th I think it's senseless at this point in time in these days to use your own money for that stuff. Don't put your own money at risk for trading because there are firms out there that want to fund your trading. And yeah, you have to go through an evaluation and, and each prop firm is going to be set up a little differently on how you do that. Um, and there's costs to it. Of course, there's, there's always business expenses, uh, involved in, in your own business, of course. Um, but like you gave here on the example, you know, on the, uh, on the 50 K account, it costs you $49 a month for the evaluation. And if you lose $2,000 in the account, then the account is no longer eligible. You have to wait, uh, to be billed for that $49 again. And then you start over. But if you're in your, I'll get you to question real quickly here, Sadiq. So the, the only, uh, the main point of that is if you are in your, using your own money for that and you lose $2,000, you just lost $2,000 of your own money. Whereas in the, in the prop account, you only paid $49 a month, which you can consider as a business expense. Um, so you're you're not putting your own money at risk. And again, I just for me personally, I don't think anyone should put any of their own money uh, into trading anymore. Um, yes, you have to follow their rules. Yes, they take a small percentage of the payout, and it's a small percentage these days. You know, like Mark was saying back in the day, he he was paying um, he was only getting a fifty percent profit split, whereas now you know it's more like you keep seventy or eighty or even ninety percent of your money with these prop firms. So commission it's just horrible. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, mean, absolutely. And the commissions have been reduced a lot, guys, which gives us a lot of uh, advantage. The automation has improved a lot. The risk management parameter, I'll show you some stuff that are going to blow your mind. You know, that really I didn't, I didn't have those stuff when I, 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 I was in prop firm. And I so, wish those, those stuff would be even in options because I would do, uh, more options if I had more risk management like this as well. See what I mean? And Sadiq, just to answer your question real quickly. So yes, Carlos answered it here. As far as max days, there are no maximum days um, or, you know, days that you have to trade to get to the the profit target. You can, you can take six months to get to the profit target as long as you're paying that monthly fee for the valuation. Um, then you're, there's no maximum amount of uh, time limit to get to that funded level. And by the way, so so that we can move on, yeah. we highly, highly suggest everybody that starts in the game for one year to just do micros and to do um, the 50K account. And the reason being is because look, it's 49, this one is double, this one is triple, but look what they give you here. They give you only one third, uh, like another extra thousand dollars here and here fifteen hundred dollars of buffer down buffer right i want everybody we work by stage in the mastering mentorship starting next week stage one is going to be one month and during that one month you are going to master trade of eight which is most of the prop firm use trade of eight as a broker and as a platform so i want you to be a, a master Yoda, a trade of eight and trading view for one month. After you do your one month, like Braden did these eight, seven weeks, now you start getting your first 50K account, right? And when you pass your 50K uh, account, only one, your stage two is complete. You prove you went from mastering our power indicator, trade of eight, Trading view, you the entry, the exit with the power indicators. Then you're on stage two, you prove that you pass the prop firm account. Now, slowly but surely, what's going to happen is stage three 
which starts roughly at month three, right? After three months, you start stacking. You have firm one, you start having one, two, three, 50K accounts, up to five accounts. So now right there, you are building for a castle, an empire of $250,000 here, which is five accounts, five contract times five, which is a total of 25 contract power that you have. And you can copy the account across the board if you are really good, which I don't recommend and will give you the tricks and tricks. Then you go to form, uh, firm number two, same, one, two, three, four, five. You go to firm number three. We have one firm that is only one account and we have one firm, they have another five. And of course, everybody knows the other one, 20, but until they get their shit together, I don't recommend that because you are going to blow up your money and, 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 and a lot of people entering the space, they go to firm that has the lowest fee here of eval, but they don't understand that the most important is who pays you, who has the easiest path to pay up, okay? That's very, very important. Now, here's the business. Let me show you how this business is completely paid for you, completely paid for you. Like there's not a business on earth that is going to give you $200 to $7,000 a day where you have no capital. You can structure it in a creative way where all your EVARs are going to be paid for the next two years and even our mentorship paid. Let me show you how it's being structured. And you are going to say, holy shit. So look, let's assume that you are focusing, like we recommend at least for year one, on the 50K account for 49 bucks. Let's assume it's going to work like this. Month one, it's the sim, so you have no cost. Month two, you are going to have your first 49. Month three, hopefully you start graduating, you are going to have three of those, 150. Month four, you are going to have maybe five, 250, right? And then you go and you keep on accumulating six, seven, eight, nine, 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 up 12 months, right? So let's say, let's say you are in this room today and you are the worst freaking trader on planet Earth, that it's going to take you 12 months of mastering our indicator, our entry, our exit. By the way, it's not just us training you and letting you on the street. We come with you at eight, nine o'clock in the morning and we trade with you nine to 10, 15 to 10, 30 every day. So you see our trade, you see our bracket, you hear, hey, we are looking for loans at that supply zone, that demand zone. Here is why and relationship of the two. So it's like almost we <laughs> hold your hand for a period of a year so that we put everything on your side, the tools, the financing, right? And the trades to make the money. Plus the series on the cake is the extra 50, $60,000 this year that I've done with the 250K retirement account by reinvesting all my profit in retirement account which are tax deferred, all tax free in IRAs, rough IRAs, and are set protected. No court, no state court can penetrate your 401k, your defined benefit plan. They are the best protected asset. But I don't like to put all my money where the government has total control. So I do other things like real estate where you have also 1031 exchange and stuff like this, or buy and sell businesses, and you do stuff like that as well. But the point in the matter is, let's say you are the worst trader. I'm giving you realistic figures, people. It's going to take you, let's like, say 10, so you eliminate the two first months, 10, so 2,500 plus the 250, so it's going to take you about $2,800 of fees, $2,800 of fees to have one chance in the next 12 months to have payouts between a thousand to three hundred thousand dollars. Some guys, guys, some guys make payout of three hundred thousand dollars every three months, six months. Yeah. One of the best traders on top step Dakota or Rips, 
how much are they making? They are making like ridiculous amount of money every three months. Guys, every two months, three months, those guys like take $150,000, $250,000 out of their account. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but they're pretty high. So $2,800 cost of a business, right? Plus your training with us if you join us versus putting $25,000 to $50,000 of your own money, or even if you trade options, ten dollars to $25,000 in the option. You are becoming a professional. A professional works for a firm. They give you the money. You can go with your head high to your wife, to your grandmother and friends that never understand what I'm doing and say, I work for an hedge fund. I work for a prop trading firm, you know, I am a professional trader. You are a professional trader at that point. You are being held to the standard of a professional trader in terms of your evaluation, take profit, stops, you know, all of it, guys. So $2,800 plus our cost. Now, let me show you how all of this is not going to cost you a dime. Let me show you, like this is insane, the business model compared to any business. Guys, businesses takes inventory, rent, trucking, employees, headache, lawsuits, uh, you do real estate, evictions, court, all the headache. This is press button, be disciplined, use the prop firm funded account. Now, look how you finance everything. Whether you join us or not, I'm giving you something that is very powerful and hopefully will change your life and at least you'll remember. Here is a credit card called the Reflect Card Wells Fargo if you're in the US. You can get 0% financing for 21 months. Everybody in this room, unless you have the shittiest credit on earth, can get $3,000 to $10,000 credit line with Wells Fargo for a three to $10,000, uh, three to 10,000, 0%. That absorbs everything, everything in the next two years. Your $2,800 in EVAL year one, your $2,800 in EVAL year two, your DTZ mentorship, where you have unique patented tool and a community that do that. We have been doing this guys for over 20 years. Futures is what we do, futures and options, that's what we do. We give you everything to be successful and you don't even have to come with any money up front because when you get payouts within the next six months to a year, you can pay everything back, everybody. So I'm asking everybody in this room, what business on earth can you start with no risk? It does not exist, guys. The only risk that you have here is your time. But there's no risk. And Braden, who is going to come on the mic, who just passed his first prop funded account, before we go to our tools, the edge and the stuff that we do, right? He did that, he did exactly that and he has a job and he doesn't even need the money. It just, it just makes sense. It makes sense to start a business. It's like someone selling you a business saying, I'm going to do seller financing. You are going to use the cash flow of the business and with the cash flow profit of the business, you are going to pay me back. That's exactly what I'm, proposing here to help you guys start this business zero. There's no capital, there's no upfront cost. Your training is free. Your tools that are unique, there's only 350 licenses in the world. Free, everything free so long, you can be a freaking profitable trader within the next 21 months. And for that, I guarantee, which I never guarantee, you know me, people who are following me, I never guarantee crap, you know? You know, there's no BS promises, I guarantee, that if you follow our long-term investing, our swing trading and our day trading, when you come in the room daily, that if you don't pay after 21 months, you come and say, Ma, I was not able to pay for my eval in the last two years and your training, I will give you back every dime. That's how confident we are in what we do. Look, it's not just me, the proof is in the pudding. If you go to our new uh, community group here where you have the classroom here. So it's very well organized, VIP, VIP, 
You have all the stuff to get the training, the world class, the daily recordings, the indicators, training, the calendar of events, the members, the leaderboard, the community. Look here. It's not just me because it's about you. Look here, their kiss. Here, their kiss. I am still practicing so far using the power indicator with his money. Look what the dude has done. Win ratio. I cannot see <laughs> if I don't have my glasses. 75.82% rate of re uh, win ratio. $18,000 gross profit. Subtract this commission of 1,088 and the guy did $17,000. Is it worth for you to invest two to three thousand dollars in your training, in your tools, in this business if you can make seventeen thousand dollars? And by the way, their case has been with us six months. Seventeen thousand dollars. Now, another one. Let's go. It's not me. Do you can see? By the way, me yesterday showing a loss of one hundred seventy-eight dollars. Say I've done my two trade, I lost, I'm the gone, I'm done and I'm showing the parody kid, and I'm showing my loss. So it's not just me showing you profits every day, but I'm showing discipline. Three trade, losers, bye-bye. Next day I come back, I'm fresh, I'll kill 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. I don't care what I do, but I'm not pushing. I have, we have rules, we have discipline, and losing $178 is, the, the way guys you lose small you make big yeah you know? so look here are there and the parody kid and now here the retirement account and look here benito join us uh six months ago three hundred dollars trading four micro mnq just to let you know benito is a retired retired truck driver has worked all his life on the road, on the road, non-stop, cross state, Canada, US, Canada, like everywhere. $300. That's an extra $6,000 in income, $72,000 a year of income, trading four micros, people, four micros, doing the bracket, using the probability power indicators, putting his entry, putting his stop loss in the edge of the calculator, buy on blue, sell on purple, you know, all the stuff that we are going to show you. But before we do that, I think I want to put Braden. I don't know if Braden is around. And uh, for those who stay later on, we'll do Q&A with Travis and Travis will be able to share some of his uh, journey as well. But it's about you guys. It's the potential for you, all right? Um, I don't know if I see Braden, but kudos for Braden. Uh, yeah, let's see if Braden is around. Braden, let us know if you can. Talk. Yeah, I'm here, Mark. Can you hear me? Hey, so this is hey. the rock star of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but. <laughs> seven, seven weeks, 12 days. Was that what it was? 12 yes, days? it was 12 days. Yes. Okay, cool. So tell everybody a little bit like your journey through your se the seven weeks, your prior experience before with futures, and the fact that you also have a job and how you manage everything. Yeah, so I kind of cut my teeth in trading back uh, with Mark probably, uh, it had to have been like five or six years ago. Um, you know, was kind of focusing on more, you know, individual companies at the time, you know, trying to scour the market for opportunities, you know, I'm kind of a supply demand, you know, support resistance kind of trader and, you know, ended up uh, getting a, a different job, I had to do a bunch of traveling. So I kind of had to table that for a while. Um, and then, you know, I've since, uh, you know, not having to travel anymore. So I, I kind of, uh, you know, I'd, I'd reached back out to Mark and, and found out that he had been, uh, you know, kind of shifting over to to futures trading, which I kind of also shifted uh, my interest in that direction as well. So, you know, I, I I reached out to him and and you know learned a bit about the the tools and 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 that's when I you know really got reengaged um, and and started uh, you know 
uh, back with the program, uh, you know, signed up with, for the, the, the mentorship, um, got to, you know, I'd, I'd already knew the platform that, that we were using in, in trading view. So I already had that, um, skill behind me. So it was really, for me, it was just focusing on, you know, practicing on the SIM account, uh, you know, with, with the power indicator tools, uh, that, that Mark's developed and patented, which are incredible by the way. So I really, you know, just dug in and, and spent probably four to five weeks just really practicing with the tools and, you know, being able to, you know, use the brackets properly, identify, you know, great entries and access points, really, really focusing for me on, on risk management. That, that was the big thing for me. I didn't want to, you know, get in there and try to be too aggressive, try to hit home runs and, and then, you know, maybe do that here and there, but then end up, you know, blowing up my account because I, I, I tried to hit a home run, which is easy to do. So that for me was, you know, the reason, you know, when, once I, I felt comfortable with the tools, that's why I chose the prop firm that I did because they did have the stricter rules. They were harder to pass. And that's the challenge that I wanted to really make me focus on managing my risk. So that's, that's why I chose what I chose. And, you know, I really focused on small sizes, you know, small amounts of trades for the day and, and really, you know, utilizing the bracket and the tools to manage my risk and, and just build, build it, you know, little by little. And, and, you know, like I said, not looking for home runs, you know, single double, if I get a triple here and there, great. And, and, you know, I, it, just be as it may, I, I was able to pass, um, you know, my, my first try with that, um, you know, prop firm that's more difficult in 12 days. So, right. so I, I really couldn't believe it, but, but man, it, it, without the tools and without Mark's guidance, Travis guidance and, and all the, the learning that's available, I, I it, it just wouldn't have been possible. So. Uh, thanks, man. So listen, uh, for everybody to understand, that was a $50,000 account you have been trading micros only, and the consistency rule was thirty percent on that prop firm. Correct. Right. Yes, and okay. I and I only I only did uh, micros. No, right. no, re no regular. Uh, so contracts. So you started with how many micros when you started opening? I, I, um, I would enter with um, two contracts typically, mm -hmm. and if. If the trade started going in my direction, I may up it by one at most, two, two at two at the very most. If I if it was going really going in my direction, and and I felt the, that that momentum, um, but but most of them were were just two contracts. Um, was uh, you know because I, I really like I said wanted to focus on on managing my risk and and even carrying that forward into the other you know firms and accounts that I I go for. I I still want to carry that with me because. That's the most important thing. You know, I, I traded a lot with with my own money and and you you know you you get too aggressive and and, and it's just so easy to to lose um you know big amount of your of your own money. But you know, using the prop firms, it's 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 uh you know so much it's safer and and you know the the leverage um that you can develop by doing this is just phenomenal and, and super attractive. So you remember uh, when we uh, spoke six months ago, I told you, you told me, oh, I have X in my uh, futures account. I say, stop that madness, close that. It, and close yes, that's what a, I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah, and, and he was absolutely right. I mean, everything he said was was spot on. I mean, I, and now having passed my my first, uh, you know, evaluation so quickly uh, and realizing the potential with the stacking and stuff. It, I mean, you, Mark, you were, you were hundred percent spot on. I'm like, why haven't I been doing this from the beginning? So. <laughs> awesome. And tell everybody a little bit, because you have a job. It's not like you're watching the, the markets every day. So how many, give a little bit of an idea for people. Just curious in the room, who has a job? Say me, who has like, who, who is not a full-time trader? Say, say me, because we have a lot of guys that have job. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody is a is a full time trader or like watching stupid tick by tick all day long. You know. Okay, so a lot of guys have 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 jobs. So I think it would be help if you explain like a little bit, like how many trades per day you've done, how you yeah. the bracket yeah. in relationship to the tools, 
like how, how you've done it differently yeah so so the way i approached it and and kind of using your advice you know is is I, you know, I'm a pretty early riser, so I, I get up and, you know, like you, like you mentioned before, because futures trade, you know, 23 and a half hours a day, um, you know, I, I would get up in the morning and typically I, I would usually make one trade, um, you know, before the actual normal market opens, like, you know, it opens at 730 mountain time for me. So I would, I would typically make one trade, say between 5 a.m. and 730 a.m. And then, you know, once the market opens, I kind of, you know, see which I feel like directions things are going typically make make another couple of trades between the open and the, the next hour. And then if I did one other one, it was, you know, usually maybe in the in the last hour the market opened. That wasn't um, normal. But if I did feel momentum going one direction or the other, you know, typically there's a more volatility, more movement in that last hour, too. So. Um, it, it really, for me, wasn't any more than four a day, typically at most. And, and, you know, like I said, I would, I would set them up, uh, you know, the ones in the morning, obviously before I, I, I you know, had to, to, to start my job, I could, I could, you know, watch them. Uh, but then the others, I would, I would figure out what setup I wanted, you know, put the bracket in and then I, I would walk away and, you know, I, I have my stop loss set, my profit target set. So I, I didn't have to watch it. And then, you know. When I get a lunch break in the afternoon, then I would I would take a look again and see if I wanted to, you know, do something in the the last hour the market was open. So yeah, it's it's something that, you know, with the with the tools, you can you can do this even if you have a job. You just, you know, set the trade up, um, you know, evaluate everything. Um, you know, set it up and and literally you can walk away and you you your you know, your loss limit is set, your profit target set, and, and you don't have to you don't have to sit there and stare at the screen. All and the time. I want to I want to add something, guys. If you trade micros and you trade prop firm capital, or it's a Neva, you have even less of an emotional vested personality into your career and the trade and the move. You know, you say, okay. This is supply power indicator here. Buy on goods and on purple. We'll show you some of the divisions and stuff we do, and some example of today and whatever, and the three to one risk ratio, four to one, like the key stuff that you need to tweak to be successful. But if you have proper money and you use micro like uh, Braden, I think emotionally it's a lot less like, like, like you go on with your day. It works. It works. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But I like to be active between 7 a.m. to 10.45 max, and I'm done. I'm, I, because after that, you enter the dead, uh, the dead uh, time, you pass the imbalance one hour, you have a lot of choppiness sometimes. It's, it's not paying off unless I do like Braden, put a bracket, because it's a micro, it's very wide, and I just do my thing. If I lose, I lose 100 bucks. I'm fine. Plus yeah, and I, I agree, Mark. Like there's, you know, times where I'll, I'll, you know, have every other Friday off or something and I'll, I'll, you know, still do my plan and, and do those trades in the morning. But then, you know, I've watched later on in the afternoon, like you said, it does, you know, get a lot of chop, uh, you know, through lunchtime and such. So yeah, I, 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 you know, that's what you taught me going in is, you know, the morning is the best time to do it. And, and that's what I stuck with. And that's how I pass so quickly and, and why I am where I am. Nice. Nice. Congrats, man. This is like yeah. a, a really cool for me. Uh, to, I mean, that means a lot to me. At least someone listens. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like I said, I, I going in, you know, um, I, I really took to heart, you know, what you told me and, and, you know, initially and, and, you know, wrote that stuff down and, and, and I keep it out in front of me and, and, and that's what I do. And, and that's the only reason I am where I am. And, and I, I, I can't say how much I, I appreciate, uh, you know, that's awesome. the, the instruction and the tools and, and, and what you're doing here. So thank you. First, 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 uh, Ivan, the guy passes in 12 days and he would have had a 50% consistency. You would have probably passed before. Did you figure when you would have passed if it was 50 instead of 30? 
I, I didn't, I didn't do that calculation. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I just, like I said, going in, I wanted to manage my risk and, and oh. just, you know, focus on staying small. And, and, you know, if it took me 30 days, it took me 30 days. If it took me two months, it took me two months, but and you, did know. you do what I told you today in the room in front of everybody. Now, now you earn the right to get other evals. Yes. Yes. Okay. So how many evals you have cooking now besides this one, which is funded? So I'm, I'm working on currently uh, setting up, setting up two others that, that, that as we speak, actually. So, okay. Same prop firm or different prop firms to try them? Um, I'm probably going to, I don't know. Um, right now I'm leaning towards two with the same, but I may do one and one, um, just to see, see how it works. I, I, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Okay. But anyway, congratulations, man. Thanks for coming. I need to go through a lot of stuff to help everybody, but man, Good job, and and uh, also congrats to Travis. You know, Travis helps everybody. You know, I think Travis helps the room a lot as well. So I don't want to forget Travis in the background. Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I completely agree. He he has a lot of good insight and tips and and tricks. So yeah, much much appreciation uh, to both of you. Oh, well, thank you for saying that, Braden. I appreciate that. Right. Thanks, man. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Enough of that, but I want to show you people sh thinks it's not possible, it is a scam, it's bullshit, but the people who think like this are the people who don't do anything out of their lives. I repeat, people who think like this are people who are not going to accomplish anything in their life. They're always the skeptics, the negative people, and so you need to come with, a, instead of it's impossible, it's I am possible. I tell my guys every day, you are possible. This is, I am possible. If you switch the mindset and you must have everything. So let me show you a couple of things that will help you, whether you join us or not, because I want to help you guys. So here is a couple of metrics that are important when you are in prop firms. There are, some prop firms will give you good metrics. Some pro, prop firms will give you crappy metrics, you know, you, you will get a feel of what you are. I am usually a 50 to 60% win ratio trader. That's me. But my risk to reward is usually three to one, four to one, five to one. With this type of risk to reward ratio, I can even afford some days, and if it does happen, where well, I have a shitty day, where well, I am at 35, 38% in that range, 30, 40, win ratio, and still having a great day. Because of this, I risk one to make three, I risk one to make four, I risk one to make five, and that's with the power indicators. Now, why is that important? So let me show you the stats and the research when you do prop firms. When you look at here, the, 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 the prop firm situation and, and, and risk management, most importantly, when you risk one, two to one, there is a problem with a two to one risk ratio situation because when you trade two to one, right? If you count commissions, you probably are going to be a break-even trader. So online, you see a lot of guys, they do, or, and some people do even reverse trade where they, they risk three to make one because they want their stop loss to be wide. And you better be really good at the size when you do that and be very confident of your indicators. It works for some traders, but you need to be really careful of the size. So here is the magic slide that you really want to take a picture of quickly, guys. This is the magic slide right there. See this slide? I don't know if I can put it. But here's the magic slide. When you do the risk ratio and the research, this is your expectancy of blowing up accounts. If you stay at one to one, you risk 50 to make 50 in day trading, 
If you are a trader that it is less than 50% win ratio, you will blow up the account. It's mathematic. But look now, if you are a two to one ratio, you can afford break even and make no money pretty much above 35%, right? But look here, this is what my guys and I are looking for, a minimum of three to one. And that allows you to be a 25 to a 30% win ratio trader. That means you don't need to be right a lot of times, but when you are right, you're right. And one of the best top, the number one top step trader right now, which is Rafael, Rafael from Israel, if you look very carefully, his win ratio is 38%, I think, Travis. 38%. Yeah, it's low. I don't remember it's what very it low. It's 38% yeah. or 35%. But if you look at his average win days versus his average loss days, ridiculous. It's like 9,000 versus 3,000. It's three to one. So this slide, guys, take a picture, like, like literally take your phone, <laughs> snap it because it's a game changer because most traders don't understand that. And until you don't understand that, you will not be consistent and be able to scale your prop firm account to make $10,000, $20,000 a month. You are not going to be able to do that because you've been always in situation of being less than 50% win ratio, one-to-one -one risk ratio or less, and scalping, and well, we know where it goes. You blow up, right? So, trade of eight is not bad. Uh, uh, it's not the best platform. I like the top X platform, but Trade of Eight is where most of the prop firms have a connection. And they'll give you the numbers of trades you do per day. They'll give you your average winning per trade here, $600. Average losing per trade, $72. 62% win ratio. And by the way, for me, 62% win ratio is a good, it's a good day. It's not like my usual, right? It's a good day. So it'll be important that you know and get a feel for your matrix if you want to be a great trader, guys. Okay. Now, another tidbit I want to share with you that is imparting, imparting a lot of wisdom and power to you guys is the fact that if you want to make money, right, I repeat, if you want to make money in a trade, you want to start small, like uh, uh, Braden was telling, talking to you. If you listen to what Braden has done, I don't know how many times Braden said the word focusing on risk management. Like this entire talk was focus on risk management, risk, my, my focus, my obsession was risk management. If you start with a small size and you dip, you will go break even before everybody see this steep angle of, this is the big size guys, big size. This guy sweat, price, stress. And eventually, right, Travis, blow up faster than anybody yep. in the game, right? If you are slow and steady, you use your micro the first year, you will learn to scale into winning position. I never, listen to that, write it down. This is, this is like a golden gem of risk management. I never add to losing position. You scale into winning position. There is an art that will teach you to scale because of course, if you can scale from, like you say, start at two micro, from two micros to 45 micros and still be in a safe trade, there's absolutely a time and a moment where the NQ rips 100 to 200 points where you can absolutely 
scale from two micro to 47 micro, absolutely safe. But you need to learn how to do that. And then when it starts flying, boom, we start the scaling process. And this is super, 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 super important. Okay? Now, remember, after that, you simplify your entire strategy. This is what I've done. So what has changed? I used to have three pyramid, number one and two, completely equal. Not everything has changed. Most of my time is spent here building the prop firm empire. I get my 1099 taxes, right? And then at times I still do some puts zero DT because those you can double, triple your account with uh, small amounts of money, right? You buy them between 10 cents and a buck, right? But these days, mostly I have swing trading, swing trading cryptos. I do a little bit, very, very little bit income trading with uh, uh, options. And I do still some put the ODT, but it's building the, 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 the empire here to feed all the assets, the real estate, the companies, the retirement account, the quarter million dollar account to feed and feed and feed by more AMDs, by more volunteers, because I want those splits in 10 years, five years, my position on our positions on Palantir could be a million dollars, half million dollars. By being what? A, a pro of the three-in-one with a three-in-one scanner, the probability power indicator, buying on blue, sell on purple. I bought come based at 65, 70, went all the way to the 200, being a master of this market cycles for my investments. Highly recommend that book. I'm not making a dime of affiliate commissions. Mastering the market cycle from Howard Marks. Beautiful book. You'll learn, you know, if you want to be really a student of wealth. And then trading is hard. It requires daily hard work for a minimum of two hours investing. It's more forgiving because I have the gift of time. So I can let it compound, go down, go up, go down, go up, go down, go up. Because the research shows that your brain can make so many decisions, guys. If I am going to day trade all day, all day, all day, all day, all night, I'm going to blow up even my funded accounts because you are not making good decisions. It's like a chess player. You need to make proper decisions and being a sharp physically, mentally, right? I'm 53, but I'm in shape, guys. I go at the gym almost every day, you know? I do the sled, I do pull-ups, you know, I, I, I try to stay in shape and, and, and have other hobbies, golf, shooting, the gym, the, my family, uh, uh, being an entrepreneur also helps me focus in other things than day trading, day trading, day trading all day. I want to be a professional, systematize my processes, okay? Obsessed about that. Then I build the empire, right? We have the $233,000 up to March. If you look at the trailing period of 12 months, it was uh, uh, up $9,000. Uh, no, not $9,000. Your two date in March was up $9,000. Now you look now, it's $248,000. Trailing one year change is $49,000. So without really doing much, I look at my tool, I look at my three in one scanner. I'm investing in the best opportunity, which are here. You can take a, a, a picture and you can figure my cost basis and you are going to say to, in most of those cost basis, holy shit, this is really, really good. You can see all my positions here across two or three retirement accounts, right? You can see here the end of my positions plus my ETF. You can see here, take another picture by the way, my Palantir position, 798 shares, $18,800 in, in, in profit with 
uh, Palantir, I repeat, $18,000, $835. With Palantir, it's an incredible profit we did on Palantir, guys. And if you go to the, the, the slide before, you can see most of them are green. I have a little loser, 53 bucks on ARM, a little loser on CVS 179, a bigger loser on Intel of almost 2,000, but I'm not selling Intel until we make good money on it. And then, guess what? If there's an election reaction, I have 1,500 shares of SVX, SVX, uh, SPXS, which you can see, sorry, here. This is my biggest loser, which act as an insurance. It's a triple bear ETF against all my long. So if the market dip, boom, I'll catch up some of that loss on SPXS, get out of it, and add to my positions on Palantir, on Meta, incredible cost basis of 162 on Meta, and it's 500 right now, 590. So as of October the 9th, when I took my latest update, it was 590 and we bought it at 162. Buy on blue, sell on purple with the tools. Same here, you can see the Meta buy, 118, 206. You can see the Coinbase buy at the bottom of the cycle in September, October 2023 and June 2023 on Coinbase, the absolute low in the cycle by doing what? Using our power indicator here, buy on blue, sell on purple. We bought it here, right? We saw the buy on blue, sell on purple. So I bought it with a cost basis in 65.70. And look at this, buy on blue, sell on purple. And I get all my uh, 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 long-term investing with the same tools that we do our day trading. Here we use a weekly chart, and here look what we use: we use a 15-minute chart, a five-minute chart, or a one-minute chart. We'll use the volume indicator. We do our supply zone block, our demand zone block. We have net buyer, net seller power trend box at the top, right? And we have the power cloud. So like this morning, power cloud was. Uh, purple, short, 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 hold the block at the bottom of the edges of the calculator. Here are the 100%. Stop being blue. You have uh, power open here, power open here, turns here. So 945, the long starts coming and you can see it in the replay right there. Right there, you start seeing it in the replay. We start going from Sideways to net buyers, net buyer, net buyer, net buyer, net buyer at the top of the power trend box. Now you see here you can play the replay, you know, and say, okay, they retest the thing. We're going to play it. And somewhere here are the retest. You 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 go, you say they, they go back retesting those power boxes right there, somewhere around, you start buying. And then it goes, yeah. So you buy your micros when it retests your box and you let it go and you let it go to the target, which is what? The uh, supply zones, right? See, see right there, right there at 2 p.m. It's done. Your, your, your job is done. Your bracket was on. When the volume indicator turned from negative to positive, net buyer, net buyers, all of this turned positive. You have a cloud change from purple to blue. You start buying, you get out on the supply zone, that's it. And when you do your bracket and you structure your bracket, you do it like this. So you go back to the point of entry and you say, well, this starts looking better when it breaks here. So you look at your Risk ratio, you say, okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to target this supply zone here at the top of the daily box of your probability power indicator around here or here, right? I'm going to do a stop loss at the low of the intranight right there. And guess what? I have a 3.84% risk ratio here. Does that make sense? Travis, can you see the chart? Can you guys see the chart? Yeah, yeah, we see it. We see the replay. Okay, yep. because my roof said, I don't see your slide. It's not about slide. I am right there, right on the power indicator right now. Sorry. 
Okay. So now you see, we want to structure everything that we do, whether it's a day trade or it's a long-term investing process, we want to structure this three to one risk ratio. Three to one risk ratio. Same here, guys, by the way, on the long-term investing, no difference here. I came here in 2023. I'm looking at the replay. I'm looking at three to one risk ratio here. I'm looking at the probabilities on my side. Yes, I have a 69% probability of success. Buy on blue, sell on purple. So even though everything is down and down in June, I started buying because I could see this head and shoulder was coming to power and power it did. Look, buy on blue, sell on purple. You look uh, 2020 and it went all the way up to the 275. Now you're going to say, oh, Mark, it's easy to go inside uh, on insight and show what happened. No, 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 no. I'm showing you what I've done. I bought in June 2023, 10 shares at 65, five shares at 78 in September the 7th, October the 20, September the 22nd. 15 shares at 71, five shares, blah, 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 blah. As of today, I own uh, 55 shares of Coinbase with a cost basis that you can figure yourself. Take 4,919 divided by 55. And so far, I have a profit of $4,263 on Coinbase. So this is the stuff that are powerful, guys. That's the stuff that gives you an edge. So tonight I showed you how you can have a silver platter business handed to you. A plat By the way, if you were going on buybizsales.com, anybody knows this uh, website, buybizsales.com? Okay, buybizsales.com, okay? This is where people buy businesses all the time with inventory, uh, machines, and blah, blah, blah. If I look for a business that provides me a net of 72,000, which would be uh, making $300 a day, right? $300 a day, like Benito, who used to uh, uh, be a uh, 24 uh, seven driving truck his entire life, right? Make 72K per year on buybusiness.net. Every business that you buy in the world sells for a multiple of three. That means you would have to buy this business for at least $200,000, $230,000, right? I'm giving you a business on a silver freaking platter with no capital with the prop firm, no cost of training. If you are smart with the 0% financing, 12 months, 21 months, recommend you go to the Wells Fargo Reflect Cap. We are also giving you an amazing opportunity tonight, guys, to either come with us just for the bootcamp. You have three, you have really three options that I'm going to give you. you give, I do different deals, different times, but the, the price is one bootcamp, 997. You come to the bootcamp in 30 days, you test the tools, you make sure that everything makes sense. If you like it, you can upgrade to the one year which would be, a, you would owe us another payment of 997 instead of paying the 1997 upfront. So I'm giving, in, in addition to that, I'm taking risk that you like what we do. And then there's another option that I will never do again. I don't, I, I hope to not be able to do it again because each time we do lifetime something, whether now I help some of my guys with lifetime room, lifetime uh, indicators, I'm not doing that anymore. It's killing our business. It's killing our recurring. But I have one option that if you can afford, you will see it's a no-brainer. Use everything that we talked tonight. Everything is there on the page. If you are seriously interested to join us, there's 11 seats left. I'm not going to even give you the link. If you are genuinely interested, send us an email at contact at Power Indicator. There's 11 seats left. They'll be gone by Thursday. That's the only thing that has a cap. You can get into the bootcamp 
Everybody can get in the boot camp. Everybody can get in the one year, but only 11 seats to the lifetime indicator fee. Send us an email and we'll give you the information. We'll text to some of you. So if you text us back, you're in the text system. Say, Mark, I want in. I just want the serious people, guys. I'm 53 years old. I want the guys like Braden, the most committed guys that are no bullshit, no brainer, straight to the point. They can't see that this deal is amazing. Plus, I give you a guarantee. Nobody guarantee anything. That at the 21 month mark, if you have not recouped every dime with my long term investing course, my swing trading course in cryptos, options, and stocks, and the prop firms uh, skill, income skill that nobody can take away. And this, in case we did, you didn't realize we live in a crazy world, guys. You know, it's a huge, huge opportunity. You know, if I had had something, I wish I had had something like this when I started. I had had to go the, the, the hard way. I had to use my money and lose and lose and blow up some of my account. I had to go from prop firms and lose a year before I was making serious money in prop firm. Uh, I, I, I get countless of story I can tell you and where I wish I could have fast forward the learning curve because only in the inside will you be able to make a decision. Yes. I'm, I'm serious only in the inside because tonight you have two choices. Stay where you are and you will see no change in your life. That is 100% sure guarantee. Do nothing and you'll stay where you are. But you have a chance to try our uh, powerful patented indicator, our processes from the inside. It's a calculated risk that you make. And I showed you how to make it calculated where it's minimum out of pocket on your side, guys. Okay? The only guarantee that you have is if you don't try it from the inside, you will not succeed. You know, give it a try. And after 21 months, if you've done everything that I'm telling you, like Braden in seven freaking weeks is already passing his combines and his eval. If you do everything that I'm telling you, and after 21 months, you don't get it back, I will refund your money. But you'll have to show me when I say buy Palantir at 14, and you say, oh, I didn't buy Palantir at 14. Well, I gave you Palantir, and that was an $18,000 trade. You know, in two years, when I tell you to buy Intel at 22, and you show me two years later that you didn't even buy 10 shares of Intel that went to uh, 60 bucks, that would have paid uh, uh, for a third or half of your mentorship, it's not my fault. When I'm going to show you in two years, you show me that in two years you didn't take payout, you didn't pass a eval. It's not statistically, I cannot promise anything, but statistically, the odds and the probability are on your side to be successful in 21 months. Because everybody promised you the moon in two days, three days. Our program should help you tremendously be successful between four months and two years, not two weeks, right? Travis, is there anything you want to add for proper, ex proper expectations? No, I think you, uh, I think you said it pretty well. I'll I mean, be right back, guys. go ahead. Yeah. It, just like he said, you know, it, this is something that, you know, trading is risky and there's, there's certainly no guarantees in it, but we're, we're teaching you how to do it the safest way and ways with the the lowest barrier of entry and especially with the with this deal and this guarantee i mean this is amazing so i mean this is pretty incredible that mark is even offering this so i mean it's 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 great advice to uh <laughs> to do the the zero percent uh interest credit card and and if you if you honestly listen to mark and, and listen to us and and you use the use the indicators listen to his teachings and if you're if you're not able to recoup your your costs into this then uh for him to to offer the the money back guarantee i mean that's that's amazing so uh, a couple of questions here and yeah any questions go ahead and, and ask them now now's the time yeah if you guys have any questions let us know we'll spend another five ten minutes also i want to let everybody know if you don't join us this time i do one of those every year so yes you know, time is everything in life. You know, you might be 10 months from now, 12 months from now. 
in another situation. But one thing I can tell you, studying this, every one of my best video on YouTube, if you go to our Day Trading Zones YouTube channel, you go by most popular, the most popular when I got 150,000 views, 700 likes or 800 likes, was the video where I compare 1929, 1920 to 1929 to 2020 to 2029. I can assure you it's written here. It's written in all of my studies. 2027, 2029, you'll have the worst recession of an entire year, 100 year. It might be as bad as 1929, where for 10 years plus, we are going to be stagnant on a lot of stuff. Now is the time you want to be ready, guys. You don't want to come 1927 and say, wow, I lost my job. And wow, can I learn about the proper? No, 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 no. Now is the time, if you are smart, and you can see what the crap is going on in the world. Now is the time to fully commit to another stream of income. Braden, who came earlier on, has a very nice income working with government contract in, uh, I think, security, military and stuff. Very nice income. He took, the, he took the Wells Fargo, he did it anyway, and he went full blown because he was with me years ago. So he, he trusted me that I was going to do, be the right person for the job. And he's proven, he's, he passed. So what I'm saying is now is the time for you to stop wasting time. Time is everything. Money is nothing. And I showed you a way to make the money not an issue. Unless you have less than 680 FICO score, you should be able to get a three to $10,000 credit line on that credit card. If it's not, you must have other credit cards. If not, don't put credit card. You have tons of money, just commit, 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 but stop dicking around. I always tell my son, stop dicking around. Life is short, it passes, and this is a skill, whether you have a job or not, that you want to know. And one last thing I want to say to everybody, and, and, and I think Travis can confirm that. If in six months or eight, a year, you say, screw that, sick and tired of the prop firm rules and, 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 and the risk management, I can assure you one thing. This is your level as a professional trader right now. You are ground level. You think you're good, but you are ground level. In a year, you'll be here. You'll be in the last 66%, in the last third. Like buy on blue, sell on purple on my tools, you'll be in the purple. You'll be almost at the top. If at that point you say, screw it, I am a multimillionaire. I'm going to put 100,000 of my own money in trade of it. You will be a lot more prepared for daily success with your own money in a year and six months than going right away right now with your own money because we know where it's going to end. You are going to blow up. It's not if, but when. And Travis said it earlier, there's no reason to use your own money. There's no reason to use your own money at this point. Unless you are in a country in the world that is forbidden by the prop firm like Pakistan or one of those countries in the terrorist list or whatever, right? And Pakistan, I don't even think it's terrorist. It's more like there's some country they don't have access to uh, PayPal. They don't have access to to uh, transfers and stuff like that. So they cannot even get paid, I think. But there's no reason. So if you are committed, guys, I'm not even giving you the link. I don't even care giving you the link tonight because I have only 11 seats. You are dead serious. I gave you all the elements. It closes first day at midnight. Well, do a text for the serious one. Text us at 954-785-954-758. Eight one four five seven nine five four seven five eight eight one four five. I want to make sure it's the right phone number for you guys to text and say serious. If you're not serious, I don't care. I have a, <laughs> we have eleven seats, and and it's not a good thing for me to sell lifetime uh, indicators anyway. So hold on, let me make sure. Otherwise, we'll give you access to everything. The late comer, you will be able to take the recordings for Christmas if you want. But I 
usually recommend you come, you dedicate. This is a dual boot camp. This is not five days, it's seven days, because I have to do two parts, prop firms and options, prop firms and options. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that the phone number I gave you is right. And do you know the power indicator tech service? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know that number, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah here, 954-758-8145. I'm going to write it down. And if you are dead serious, we'll send you the link. Yeah, I was actually just typing it into the chat. And Seven. you can, yeah, 954 758 yep. 8145. And then we'll take the most committed guys for the lifetime. The rest you can buy uh, if you are interested, get into the bootcamp or get into the yearly guys. And most importantly, to get into our school community. I don't know if all of you are or not. But you're absolutely welcome to check our new format here, how the class are. It's really cool compared to the stuff we had before. It's a lot better than our old blogs. You still have access to our blog on our website and your members area, but I think this is a lot better to consume and interact with the community, guys. Love you all, everybody. I hope it was helpful. Look, we had only an hour and a half. It's hard to put, you know, 20 something years of trading futures, 30 years of trading all together in one hour and a half plus. Okay, so thanks for coming and I hope you learned something, whether you join us or not, stay engaged in our social media, but don't be the guy that is going to watch free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, watching, thinking, doubting, and in five years, 10 years, you'll be the same guy. Love you, everybody. Take care. Have a great night, everyone.